What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a new tweak called Celeste 2. Now what this tweak allows you to do is transfer files from your iPhone, iPod, iPad to your MacBook, your Blackberry, Nokia, even your PC. Now you can also send files from your MacBook to your iOS device like your iPhone, iPad or iPod and I'm going to show you both of those in this tutorial today. Now the first question that you're probably asking, what type of configuration do I need in order for this to work? Well, there's really not any type of configuration that you need to set up as long as your Bluetooth is turned on for both devices and they're both discoverable. So once you do that, it's actually very simple. So let's go ahead and jump into my photos and I'll send a photo from my iPhone to my MacBook. So we're just going to hit the share button right here and you're going to see that you have a new button right here and it's send with Celeste so we're gonna tap on that and then you're gonna see my device right here so we're gonna tap on that and it's going to start connecting so once it starts to connect you'll see an incoming file transfer pop up on your MacBook and you just click accept and it's going to start sending that file and you see on the iPhone as well as on the MacBook you have a little progress bar right there to see the progress of the transfer now once that it's done you'll see a little banner up here that it says it has been transferred and as well as right here on the MacBook it's done so I have mine set up to send to a Celeste folder right here so you can see here is the picture that I just sent with my iPhone and it's just a picture of the inside of my PC so we're going to X out of that and now we'll send a picture from my MacBook to my iPhone so let's X out of this and to send a picture, it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is click on the Bluetooth icon up here in the status bar, hover over iPhone, and then click Send File. So now you're going to have to point it to what file you want it to send. I'm going to send just this picture of an iPhone, so we'll send that right now. And then you're going to see a pop-up right here, Incoming Transfer from Cody's MacBook Air. So tap Accept, and then you'll see the little progress bar right here as well as on your MacBook. Alright, so again you'll see the banner up there that the file has been transferred and it's actually already in your photo album. So if we open up our photos, well let's tap done, go back to camera roll and you'll see there is the photo that I just sent. So it's pretty nice that the photos will actually go directly into your photo album. Another awesome thing, it uses Gremlin so it's going to put even music files into your music application. So if we wanted to send a music file or just an audio, it won't be music, it'll be uh, me talking, but let's go ahead and do that from my MacBook. We'll send a file and we'll just send this uh, voiceover for OXO. We'll send that, I'm gonna get a pop-up again. We'll tap accept, it's going to start sending. Uh, let's not do OXO, that's pretty big. So we'll stop that. So you got the banner right there that says OXO has failed. So let's go to something a little bit smaller. Let's go over to iPhone. We'll send a file again. And let's go into our music, iTunes, iTunes Media, Music, Unknown. And we'll send something from here. Let's find something that's pretty small so it won't take forever to send. All right, let's do this one. So this is just the audio for uh, auto OK tweak. So right here, you got the pop-up again. We'll tip accept. So you can see here, got the banner once again. Now let's go into our music app and see if it's there. So we'll go back and you can see right there is my auto OK. So we'll sit, we'll click that. So you can hear that it's working fine. I'll go ahead and pause that. So there you go. That's basically what Celeste 2 does. You're able to transfer files from your iDevice to your MacBook and vice versa. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.